What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. Why don't we start this video off with a 2007 Mercedes Benz ML 500. I love these little MLs. I really do. And an ML 500 with a V8 under the hood, guys. This isn't the little 350. This is the 500. You get a V8 under the hood. Formatic, of course, all wheel drive. AMG wheels. It's a little rough, probably got some high mileage, but I mean, it's not horrible. It's got clear coat peeling in several places. It's obviously hail damage. The headlights have some funky stuff going on. You've got a missing wheel. Okay, you know, maybe it is rough. <laughs> maybe it is a little rough. And it looks like somebody was doing something to the battery back here i'm not sure what this was but the battery resides under the seat that looks like a ton of fun right there are the the cables are loose wow um interesting to say the least i wonder if this thing will run and drive it's got the entertainment package you've got dual screens one in each headrest which is really nice i'm gonna give it a shot i am i'm gonna fire it up see if it'll run if it does we got to see if the air suspension will come up and if it does well then maybe i'd be interested in this i went ahead and sent it to monkey wrench mike of course if he says he's interested in this at all i'm gonna back out and uh, i'll let him take it uh, don't want to compete with him this is kind of his thing but at the same time I do like these Mercedes, man. So let me throw a jump pack on it real quick and let's see if we can get it to do something. Are we taking bets? Is it gonna run? I think it will. That's that's my personal guess. I think it's gonna run. You guys drop your comment below and tell me if you think it's gonna run or not. Oh, there's the key. It's on the floor. What is this? Are those the seat controls? No, the seat controls are over here. Uh, in oh, interesting. I don't know what this does. It's got push to start. I'll be. It runs. Oh, wow. What's that noise? Oh, no power steering. None. Uh, I am curious what. Is that airable? It, the bolstering? It is. Yeah, that's bolstering. All right, air conditioning, because automatically, I gotta know if the AC works. And we should probably, whoa, hey now, that's a little, that's a little high. I have no idea how to work this stuff. Fan control, up, down. Let's turn that down. And then the air suspension, I assume it's adjustable. It's flashing, it says vehicle rising. I don't feel anything, but I suppose it's possible. Let's check the important window. It works. Less important window. Works. The AC. That's that's a big deal, and I don't think it's working. Wait, I feel it. I do, I feel it. It is raising up. It sure is. And we have service exceeded. What are the miles on this? I'm trying to get this uh, thing out of my way here. Uh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's heavy. Brake wear, brake lights, airbag, key battery. It's it's got a got a few issues. Battery's not charging. 151,000 miles on the odometer. I think it raised up. I do. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Maybe that's not gonna work. No, and the AC is, it seems like it's trying. It really does. Let's get out and let's see if the vehicle has come up off the ground because she was like, she was squatting pretty bad. I got a hunch the air suspension doesn't. Oh, wait, 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 maybe it does work. Maybe it does work. Okay. The engine purrs like a kitten, it's quiet. It's still rising. Yeah, I think we could turn this off. It looks like, yeah, it's charging. The battery may be dead, but it's charging. 
So we don't need that anymore. I'd be curious if uh, hiding somewhere back here, I can't get to it, but maybe the spare is back here somewhere. There it is, sure thing. Huh. I'm, I'm kind of liking this, guys. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping that Monkey Wrench Mike says, nah, I'm not interested. I got a feeling he'll be interested in this one though. Let's see if we can bring this seat down back to a normal position. There we go. Hey, this thing's got a shot, man. Now, I don't know if this is an insurance car. It doesn't say what it is. It was just picked up less than a month ago. We can scoot the seat back just a hair, just a touch, so that I can fit in this thing a little bit better. The AC does not function. Does the radio work? The screen comes on. Now pushing the, uh, the rise button here doesn't seem to, that doesn't seem to, no. That does nothing. Close. Great. Now I've done it. You've got a little cigarette lighter right here. You got an ashtray down here. A lot of stuff in here. Little Valentine's things. Junk in the glove box. I mean, I didn't get that. Shut up, Siri. Overall, not too bad. Brakes. It feels like it's got them. Let's go into gear. Yeah, forward. We even have a backup camera? No, it doesn't work. We can't go very far backwards. We can go a little further forwards. And park. How about that? Sport mode, that doesn't work. <laughs> that does nothing. And the light is still blinking for the aromatic suspension. I mean, what do you want, man? This is going to end up being a very cheap ML500, for sure. And it's definitely got some problems, uh, including, yeah, there's really no power steering to speak of. Probably a busted line. The interesting thing is, though, is I don't hear the power steering pump whining. I don't hear anything from it. It just purrs like a kitten. Here's the power steering reservoir. Not a drop. <laughs> Not a drop. So obviously a uh, leaking line. You got an issue with the battery. What's going on with that? Who knows? Oh, I can't get the power steering to close. There we go. Otherwise, it runs pretty good. Not too shabby. I'm sure if you shut it off, it's not going to start back up again. So why don't we go ahead and... Hold on. Did I have the AC off? I did. The air conditioning was turned off. It was on AC rest. So give it a second. We might have air conditioning. That was, what was that beep? Tire pressure. Yeah, you just now figured it out? You just now figured out that the tires don't have any air in them. Guys, I don't feel any air conditioning. Let's see if it'll start back up. I'm sure it's probably dead. Yeah, completely dead. So probably gonna need a battery. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what old Monkey Wrench Mike thinks of this. If he wants it, then, you know, it's his, and if he says he's not interested, I am absolutely interested in this thing. I think it'd be a lot of fun to see what we can do to put it back together, get it running and driving, and then of course when we're done, send it down the road. So here's the deal, I put this on my watch list, and as soon as I pulled it up, this is this is listed as a non-runner, guys. This, this supposedly doesn't run and drive, and as we've clearly seen in this video, it runs and it moves. $950, buy it now. No joke, $950, buy it now. And it's a rebuilt title, it's not even salvaged. It's a rebuilt title already. So an 07 ML500 with working air suspension that runs and moves for 950 bucks. What do you guys think? Now that's the buy it now. The auction's in 20 hours, so I could wait and just bid on it and see if I can get it for less. But to me, 950 bucks? That sounds like a steal of a deal for this thing, but I don't know. You guys comment below. 
and you tell me what you think. I, I'm I'm waiting to hear back from Monkey Wrench Mike because if he says no, I, I I don't know if I'll be able to pass that one up for that kind of money, guys. That that is crazy cheap for what that is. Um, over here we got a Land Rover. Yeah, I know. Uh, maybe I. See, this is more money than I'm going to want to spend. Nah, this is wrecked. Passenger airbags are blown all across it. Um, you know what? Hold on a second, guys. Give me just a minute. I got to see something real quick. All right, let's continue on. I'm, I'm actually really excited about the, uh, the ML. I've never had an ML 500 before, so uh, yeah, I kind of want it. I do. Oh, an Audi A7. I've been wanting one of these for a long time too. How bad is this one? I can see it took a, looks like a little hit to the front end. Nothing too crazy. Hold up. Wait a minute, maybe it's crunched in the back? It's not. This is actually pretty nice. What is this doing here? Maybe bags are deployed. Maybe it's worse than it looks. Interior looks decent. No funky odors as of yet. This is actually, this is pretty nice. 60,000 miles? No bags deployed? It's a 2016. No kidding. Push to start? Are you serious? Whoa, hey, 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 hey. How do you, uh... There we go. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. It's got the little three liter. Supercharged, turn engine off and check coolant level. Oh man, it's worse than we think, isn't it? Reverse, drive, air conditioning works. I can already feel it, it's ice cold. Let's go ahead and shut it off. Since it's complaining about coolant, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be one of those. It doesn't look like it had a bad accident. Maybe needs a few pieces in the front. Um, but if it's complaining about coolant, uh-oh. Well, hood stuck. Can't open it. Very interesting. I mean, the, the front bumper is destroyed. It's gonna need a bumper. Looks like it just smacked straight into something like a barrier or something like head on. But obviously, they couldn't be going that fast, and it's not that bad. Needs a grill, needs a front bumper, and all the little plastic pieces down there. But aside from that, it looks all right. I wish I could pop that hood and get a closer look at what's going on under there, but I'm not going to stand around and waste time with that. It's a car I'm interested in, but I, I really want to be able to see under the hood, guys. Now, I was looking for a Dodge Dakota the other day, and I can't find it. I don't, I don't see it. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. I swore I saw one sitting over here on this row. And now I, now I don't see it. I guess it's gone. Oh, wow. Hello. Cobra Jet. Are you serious? Somebody put Cobra Jet on the hood of this, guys. Look at that. Uh, no. Nope. That's a V6. And that is, that's not a Cobra Jet. It is, it is not. Uh, let's see what else we can find down here. A Kia. We're going to pass on that. I'm looking for... Oh, look at that Monte Carlo. I'm a sucker for these Monte Carlos. Oh my goodness, a Mazda Protégé. Oh, it's completely... Uh, never mind. Completely caved in on that. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my. Yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. But look at this. It's a base model. Just an LS Monte Carlo. I still love these things though. What year is it? 05? Such a nice looking car. But they're so much better as an SS and with the Dale Earnhardt badges all over. In my personal opinion, it's Dale Earnhardt for me. Oh yeah, squeak. That GM squeak. Oh, the window tint. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, this thing's been... Uh, road hard and put away wet. I think I've had enough of those. If it was an SS supercharged all day, every day, I'd be more interested in it, but I'm not. There's a Magnum back there. Looks like a base model. Not really interested in a Magnum either. So we'll just keep walking. We're bound to run into something 
that we can bid on. I just can't get over the ML. I'm, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about this. Look at this, hello. Boy, we haven't seen this Maxima in a while. I did a video with this in it quite a while back, I think. Yeah, 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 I did. Unfortunately, the damage is, this is pretty significant on that one, guys. So I walked away from it. I didn't realize that thing was still sitting here all this time later. I love coming out here during this time. There's nobody out here, nobody around. It's just me and a ton of cars. Oh, whoa. No way. <laughs> what is this? Tonka toy. <laughs> Toyota IQ, I think, is what this is. If I don't, if I, if I remember, yeah, 2012 Toyota Scion IQ Tonka toy. That's cute. Somebody had a sense of humor. Somebody had a sense of humor. I like that. All right. I see a, a Buick down here. Not really interested in that either, unless it was like the uh, the limited supercharged. I'd be interested in one of those. You don't find those very often. Man biohazard we're gonna stay away from oh wow yeah speaking of carnage right my goodness impala another impala and then we're gonna skip that row over there because i want to come over here i know that there's an abarth over here and i really want to check that one out i see a mustang i see another mustang man that's actually a pretty slick looking staying over here Love that ruby red color. Looks kind of like a performance pack. Those are probably uh, aftermarket American muscle wheels. Yeah, they are. I'm certain those are American muscle wheels. Still very nice though. Very nice. Love the stance. Love the look of this car. Like I said, that ruby red is just fire. Damn, that's slick. Looks like it took a little hit in the front. This one, I think we can open the hood on. Maybe it didn't take a hit in the front. Yeah, well, I mean, the bumper is definitely kind of hanging on for dear life. Let's see if we can open this up. Open this hood. Yeah, good old 5.0. Good old 5 it's got the factory intake. I actually like that. I like that. Somebody put some rims on it. They look good. Otherwise, it doesn't look like they went crazy with the car at all. Interesting. Is this thing smashed anywhere? Am I missing something? No. Hail. Hail damage. Light hail. It's not bad. Oh, wow. Actually, it's got hail all over it. It sure does. It sure does. It's got hail everywhere. It's an automatic, too. Eh. I mean, it's all right. Interior is absolutely disgusting. The exterior looks great. Interior. Ooh. Oh, wow. That just hit me like a ton of bricks. Wow. Talk about a delayed reaction. I, <laughs> that didn't hit. It just, out of nowhere, it took me by surprise. I, I'm going to walk from that one. I, I can't stand that smell. I can't do it. Uh, even if it was a manual, I, I don't think I'd be looking at that car. Another Mustang V6. No, thank you. Another Mustang V6. No, thank you. And there's another one back there, too. What is this? The Mustang aisle? This is, this is the Mustang runs into crowds aisle over here. Hondas, Impalas. Oh, hello. That's a cool color though. Little Fiesta, I think is what that is. Oh man. Whoa. Oh wow. What took this out? I mean, it took the pillar and the roof off. Window, everything. Windshield, side window, pillars, everything. Just, just gone. Completely gone. This has been sitting here for a while. Let's see what the date is on it. This is uh, March of 2022. She's been sitting for a couple years. This is a bio. Wow. I mean, it just, it took everything out. I just got to see what this looks like from the interior's perspective. Oh, wow. No joke, man. Oh my. All right, well, we'll continue on. I don't think anybody was hurt in that one, thankfully. I don't, I don't guess anybody was in the, uh, in the passenger seat. So that's always good news, man. Oh my God, another one. 
Whoa. This looks like a Chevy Cruze, yeah. The back end is almost completely sideways in the car. No kidding. I mean, that is just, that's, wow. And you gotta think, man, this stuff happens every day. Every day accidents like this happen. People out here getting hurt, man. We take it for granted, you know? I mean, cause I guess it doesn't do any good to sit around and think about it. Otherwise you'd be so scared you'd never go out and drive anywhere. Hell, sometimes I hate coming out here because it makes me think about the same thing. I guess I gotta drive. It's a long drive for me to get out here. You know what I mean? I gotta drive home. And I'm usually driving home in rush hour traffic. So after coming out here and seeing all the carnage and a lot of it, I never even show you guys. It's uh, it just, it gets me thinking and it gets me nervous. So here we go. A Buick with hail damage, right? This is what everybody wants. What year is this? 04? Oh, ooh, never mind. I thought this was gonna be like a low mileage unit. Nah, this is, this is disgusting. Well, that's a shame. I did see this in the distance and I was interested in looking at it. We're gonna, we're gonna pass on that. What do we got over here? Looky here. Is this an ATSV? I know it's not a CTS. It's uh, gonna be an ATSV, I think. It is ATSV, eh, you know, not too bad. I mean, these are decent. Somebody put some exhaust on it. Let's see what the interior looks like. 2016, but ooh, gross. Busted windshield. What do we got going on in here? That is disgusting. Somebody's torn the interior of this thing apart. Huh. Uh, should we look under the hood? I don't even know what's under the hood of this thing, guys. So let's just take a quick peek. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. I'm pretty sure it's just like some Turbo 4. I don't know, maybe it's a V6. It might surprise me. Where's the, uh, where's the, come on, open. It is a V6. It is, oh, oh, <laughs> it's the twin turbo V6. Intake, upper plenum is all torn apart. Coil packs are sitting all over the place. You got this weird switch. Just, yeah. Huh. Nope. Just like that. We're walking away from that one. Let's grab the bag and continue on. I think one of the last cars we're going to look at is a, a Fiat 500 Abarth. We've got another Audi. It's wrecked pretty good. Not interested in that. Boy, the terrain out here is rough, man. All right, I had to talk to the loader there for a minute. Man, the pe that's another thing. The people out here are just so nice. They're, they're really friendly, cool people. I'm supposed to be out of here at 4.30, and I was just asking because, hell, it's already. Well, you guys can't probably see it, but it's 4.11. I told him, I said, I know, I know. You're telling me it's about time to kick me out. He said, no, nah, man. He said, you can stay here till 5. I was like, no kidding. See? How nice is that? This is the sublot, and the sub the sublot always closes a half hour early. But uh, he said they'll be here working till five anyway. So he said, "Hey man, if you want to hang out and film some more, you go right on ahead." So that just bought me a lot more time to try to see if we can find anything interesting uh, that I'd be interested in bidding on. Aside from the ML five hundred, I haven't really seen anything that I'm all that uh, all that excited about. And it seems like the longer I'm here, the less excited about the ML five hundred. I'm getting and I'm gonna tell you this if I don't hear back from monkey wrench Mike uh, Chevy Volt I got at least look at it if I don't hear back from monkey wrench Mike on it then I think I'm gonna go ahead and bid on it because he may just not be interested I don't want to lose out on that car what is what is going on with this This doesn't look bad D trim for paint repair and Something for paint, PDR. It's got a few minor dings. It's got a busted front bumper. I don't know, guys. I don't think you guys are all that interested in these electric slash hybrid vehicles anyway. Oh, nice. The, uh, the whole crash bar for the front, I guess, is sitting in the front seat. It's a pretty basic model. It doesn't have leather or anything. I've still got my Cadillac ELR. So I'm going to pass on that. I'm probably going to make another video on the ELR. I didn't sell it. Uh, I've been procrastinating because I've been extremely busy. 
uh, fixing cars down at the shop. And I finally thought about it today. I was like, I need to go ahead and get rid of that car. I got on Carvana's website. <laughs> well, like I said, there'll be another video about that because uh, things, are, things are not the way they were. Apparently in the last two or three weeks, things have changed. So you can go from making $8,000 on a car to losing $1,000 in the snap of a finger. I'm telling you, the car market, it's it's just as bad as playing with stocks or uh, playing with cryptocurrency, man. You can be up one day and you could be down the next morning. Let's see what we got over here. Here's the Abarth. I know it's wrecked. I didn't see how bad. I didn't cheat. I wanted to check this car out with you. I plan on this being the last one of the day and we may still make it that way. I've always, this isn't an Abarth, is it? No. Are you kidding me? Is it at least an S? No. It's just a Fiat 500. Ah, oh, man. I got excited. I saw the stripes from... I was, I was over there. I saw the stripes on it and I thought, Oh man, there's an Abarth over there. I'm going to save that for the end of the video. And we're going to make this my thumbnail. Well, guess what, guys? It's just a Fiat. It's a wrecked Fiat. I don't know about you, but I have zero interest in this car. Well, that's disappointing. I'm gonna walk through a few more cars and I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, I like that. I like that high country. 6.2, no, Randy. Yeah, I'm already in too deep on that damn Ram of mine, man. Ooh, a Corvette. I don't wanna show that in this video either. That one looks pretty smashed. In fact, guys, I think we may be done here. This is a, oh, here you go. One slow C7. I don't know about that. I'm going to, I'm going to say, yeah, it's pretty slow today. <laughs> this thing ain't going to, this thing ain't going to go very fast today. That looked like it hurt too. That definitely looked like it hurt. I'll tell you what, I miss my red Stingray. I really do. I love that car. Mine was a seven-speed manual, and I absolutely loved that thing until it broke down on me, and then I just couldn't hardly stand the damn thing anymore. All right, guys, I think we're done. I'm ready to go home. With that, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the, you know, thumbs up button. Let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, drop those comments below. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.